Welcome back to Chat Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from Modern Dating here. You know, finally. Strong, independent boss babes are crawling back to men because they need help. <laughs> oh, they can't build stuff, guys. They can't do the maintenances. They can't do the hard manual labor around the house. Shocker. Please like subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. Let's get to that chow. It's chow time. Men, tradies, anyone that knows what the fuck this is? Because I thought this was a goddamn drill, but it is not. <laughs> what the f- What? So I'm trying to build my goddamn shelves, and like, usually there's a screwdriver on the end, and you just put it in the little cracks, and it works. But this is like a magnet one. And like, I don't think there's any other device in my household. I've never seen this before. It usually just always has the thing, but it doesn't. And I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Or like, not that I'm doing wrong. What? Because like, look. When you put it in the... It just doesn't... You know, I, I'm not a carpenter or anything myself, but I've done home improvements and I've helped my friends, like, you know, put floors down, put walls up and stuff on their, their, their things. I was not this dumb when I first started with the power tools. <laughs> Work! So, men, please help. What do I do? No. Do I need to go to Bunnings? You do got I this, girl. You strong and This is what happens when you decide you want to be strong and independent and don't need a man. This is a great experience for her and many other strong independent women. This is a place where they will find themselves when they buy into the idea that they can do it all. I don't know why they don't understand that we need each other. We are supposed to work as a team, but until they understand it, we will have many videos similar to this. I 100% agree with modern dating here. We need each other. Men need women. Women need men. As much as mid towels and us past, you know, like the people that just don't want to date, say they're okay with being lonely and you know it yes you might be okay i'm not saying you're not but you might be thriving more with a good woman that's where i'm saying i'm not saying that there and i also say yes there's not very many good women out there i do agree with that but i think i think people should strive for it because in the later years it's going to be pretty much all you have that you care about. From the most of the people that I've ever spoken to that have been on their deathbed, that have lived very long lives, those are the things that they truly care about and have the best memories of is their families. So. Now she has to pay a handyman to get it done. Thank God that such women exist so that I can flex my average knowledge. <laughs> but aren't you an independent woman? Women say they don't need men. Let's see them build something. <laughs> when you never taught your kids anything. Yeah. Need to put it down. You know what? My, my dad actually never taught me power tools and stuff like that. He didn't teach me. Like, my dad was very handy, but he didn't teach me any of these things because he didn't want me to get to become a handyman, I guess. My dad kind of looked down on like manual labor type jobs. My my whole family does. My whole family thinks that owning a business like a donut shop and stuff sucks. They don't realize that working a normal job sucks more. They've only known the the donut shop business. They've only they, they, we've been in the industry for 30 plus years. So they they always tell us the kids in the next generation don't do what we did. We had to work hard and manually labor, go to school and do, you know, get educated so you can get a good job. That's how we were raised because manual labor was hard, according to our parents. But when you actually look at it, my aunts make good money. The, the manual labor is not that bad. They own their own business. They own their own time. Yes, owning your own business requires a shitload of hours, but it's your own business. So they don't actually see the benefits of it too much. They always only see the, the downside of things. But they're so wealthy now that they only still see the downside because they have to work so hard. And they also, my aunts still work now, even though they're in their 70s. 
you know, at the donut shops, like three to four days a week. So I think to them, having a retirement plan and 401ks, pensions, and having a good job that you don't have to like work extra hours is worth it because they've always worked those extra hours. And it's, to me, I've seen both sides. I would rather have my own business and work as many hours as I can than work a normal job for some corporation that doesn't love me. Um, and walk away. Clearly lacking any half-decent male figure in her life, plus abundance of so-called life skills, LOL. I'm over being independent. We got to get over that. Mm -hmm. Especially as men and Ladies, you know, I love you guys. I love black women. I love all women. But there's just some kind of like decorum you should have when you come online to look somewhat presentable. You know, like, that's, or is it just me? You know, like the, the, the whole bonnet stuff while you're doing this, like it doesn't look good. Men are telling you that they don't like it and it doesn't look good. And I think other women kind of see it that way too. It's literally kind of like a white woman going out in her hair curlers like back in the day in TV days. I've, I've only ever really seen it in TV. I think I've seen it like in real life once at Walmart where she was with her hair curlers everywhere. It's very similar to that. Like you're not prepared. You're, you're still in that house I'm not seeing people mode, you know, like just put a little bit more effort, but just my suggestion. Depending on women, we don't need nobody. I do. I need help. My wrist is broken. My hand is out. My Zelle is open. My cash app is open. The alarm is going off. And man, your legs open too? I'm speaking the truth. I want to be taken out. I want to be taken care of. I want to be treated nicely. Princess treatment. Mm hmm. All that manifesting it. See, look. See, what you're asking for, the way you're acting, your mannerisms, and the way you look, people aren't going to take you seriously. This is why I said what I said. Being independent is exhausting. Somebody come get me. What's this beeping? I'm going to act right. I'm going to try. Oh, she's in a I medical office. <laughs> That's what I got. Why didn't she have this mindset years ago when she had a larger pool to choose from? They give their best years to their employers, then once they get tired of being strong and independent, they crawl back looking for someone to take care of them, but it will be tougher because there aren't many men willing to take on retired strong women. I do know a decent amount of 30-year-olds that are really tired of working. They've worked most of their, all their lives, and they're just done. <laughs> I do know a few of those women. <laughs> This is the message that should be passed to the younger generation to prevent them from making the same mistake. I 100% agree. It's interesting how nobody mentions needing love. They just want to be financially looked after. But without love, why would a man take care of another full-grown adult capable of providing for herself? That one... Oh. Because of kids. Because of a legacy. Remember, back in the day, marriage was never about love. It was about a family. It was about your legacy. So when you got with the woman, the chances of you loving her at that time are very low. So it, the, the love part comes later. That's why most of these modern women are single today. It's unfortunate that this is their mentality. All I hear is rescue me from my bad decisions and take care of me how I deserve. <laughs> when it's all said and done, these modern women are going to wake up to the fact that the guy they want and need has left the building never to return. Passport bros. They want to be independent from 15 to 35? <laughs> Fine, let them be independent from 35 to 90. Don't give them attention and stay out their DMs. They aren't looking for love. I do admit, I think I've only DM'd like one woman on Instagram and it was the chick that uh came on my channel for a, a few videos and stuff that I was doing with her that was the only person I ever DM'd and it was for work so I'm not on Instagram like that you guys can like come follow me and uh, you can message me though I have people that message me all the time on Instagram and I message them back and they'll send me videos and video suggestions all the time so love they are looking for help when I said I was an independent woman <laughs> I meant like I can pay my own bills. I mean, she's all, oh, I'm so tired right now. I didn't mean I wanted to shovel my driveway 
in between doubles. <sighs> I did not put that on my resume for being a bad Imagine. She's probably a nurse pulling doubles and still having to do all of this stuff. When you could have been doing doubles, have a man in your life, you come home, you guys take care of each other, cook for each other. He takes care of all the manual labor stuff. You get to relax somewhat. That's all. <laughs> got him. We got him. This is what a lot of women forget about when they're screaming independence. For certain women who make a lot of money, they can go out and pay people to do a lot of this stuff. That's so true. So for them, it's a little easier. But if you're a woman out there and you just have a regular job, making regular money, living paycheck to paycheck, you got to do all that stuff. Whatever that stuff is that you don't want to do, you have to do it. And I know a lot of women out there sitting there saying, well, I don't mind doing that stuff. I can do whatever a man can do. Good for you. But for the women like this one, it is not fun. Nope. It is not fun to do that stuff. Do you know why I know it's not fun to do that stuff? Because I don't want to do that stuff. But that You know, there's you know, single fathers and single mothers. Yeah, you always hear single mothers, I don't need no man. I can do this all by myself. And you always hear single fathers say, you know what? I kind of wish I had a mother or a wife to help take care of my daughters or help take care of my kids because I could have used it. But you never hear the women ever really say that. As the man of the house, that's what I do. But I don't want to do it. It's not fun. Hell no. I don't want to go out there when it's zero degrees and, and be out there playing around in the snow. I'm not We men, ain't we? Six. I'm going to go out there in the snow. I want to stay in the bed with you. I always say most women who say they don't need a man never really had a good. I feel sorry for them. But if they want to be independent uh, and act like they can get through this world without us, let them. The fact is men need women and women need men and the only objective is finding the right person for you. True. Stop being influenced by societal influence and select the man or woman you can build within this world. Your life will go a lot better and smoother if you do this. I do miss the old days when my mom was the homemaker and my dad took care of everything else. Most women who say they don't need see like again, I wasn't raised this way. Both my mom and dad worked their asses off. My mom worked like 12 hour days. My dad worked 18 hour days at the donut shop. My mom would come home, cook, clean, take care of everything. I, I was the oldest, so I would help cook, help clean. I did everybody's laundry. I helped clean up the house. So I, I didn't make chores and house cleaning and house um chores easier for my mom because i was the one who was helping take care of a lot of it so but i've always seen both parents work very very hard to provide for the family i did not see one that just got to stay at home and relax the whole time and i think that's a little bit different than how the stay-at-home mothers in a, a, a in more american life is i'm american i was i wasn't born here but you know my, my family is very traditional very asian Except for my brothers and sister, because they were born here and they they, they kind of strayed out a little bit. But yeah, I've seen both parents work hard. So when the next the generation now, where it requires kind of both incomes or both people to work, I thought it was a normal thing. I really did tell you guys the truth, because I've always seen that. I've always seen that with my whole family. My aunts and uncles all work hard. Like all of my aunts and uncles, I have like seven of them. You know. They all work hard together. They all have built major businesses. They all have built, you know, shitloads of donut shops. And then at one point, we had three gas stations in the family. We sold them all because gas stations are a money pit. So it was always working together to build. It, it's, it, it, it kind of was a little bit weird for me when I first got into the red pill and kind of learned all the and it's like, oh, just stay at home. Don't do nothing, you know. And I was just like, oh, but that's what I also provided for my wife, too. And I saw what it caused. She was bored. She didn't know what to do with her, with her time. So she just didn't do anything. A man really haven't had a good one. That is more insightful than you may think. I love independent women. I've made so much dollar hanging TVs, <laughs> assembling furniture, fixing or relaxing bathroom fixtures, etc. 
Brothers, if you want to get back at the independent woman, especially ones who brag about owning their own homes, become a handy man. This is true. You want to be independent. You see what you get? I've heard someone say this once and it's always stuck. When you hear someone say, I'm strong, independent, and pay my own bills, they literally trying to brag about being a normal adult. <laughs> they are. I ain't never finna, but you ain't never finna hear me say I don't need a man because I do. Ooh. And I don't just need a man for physicality, okay. whether it be bills, fixing things. That's not what I, that's not the, the bulk of what I need a man for. I understand the role of a man. Oh. And it's it's sexy. A okay. real man? Go ahead. Unpack that. Ooh. What's the role? Oh, What's the role of a man? Yeah. Ooh, first of all, it's leadership. Mm. And when a man can, when he has the fruit of leadership successfully over his whole life, do you know do you know how I actually agree with this because I've seen other men with this. And it's very inspiring as a man myself. You know, I see men that have strive very hard to be great leaders and have became great leaders and as they're leading it makes me like damn damn how attractive that is even if he is a man that's not available to you even if he's not even if he's a man that um is not compatible for you to watch a man lead his life well oh, baby nice. that's encouraging it's sexy it's honorable she is like a needle in a haystack i don't think very many women think this way or feel this way about men i love to see it and and there is something about watching a man who has allowed God to grow his confidence and grow the fruit of his life. And, and you can see him thinking and, and, and if he don't know what the thing, baby, for that man to take that thing in the word and in prayer. Woo! Oh, okay. This is going a little bit more religious. I feel sorry for those women who decided they don't need men. It makes no sense because they will be the ones missing a lot. Aren't they aware that two hands are better than one? Two hands, two heads. The woman in this video is clever. She was able to see and understand the importance of having a man in her life, and she was intelligent enough not to listen to society. Correct. I bet she is happier than most strong, independent women trying to do it all. This woman deserves the world, and I bet she won't mind going to the Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> Amen. I need a man to. All ladies should pray to feel what this woman is feeling for their own good. She is blessed to be capable of feeling that way. Her body language says it all. It does. Leadership very... is to a woman is what submission is to a man. It is. Damaged women will run from such a man or contend with him, more like try to, because this man will drop such a woman fast. Yep. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, subscribe. Again, shout outs to Modern Dating here, always putting out wonderful bangers. This was a good video of showing just women actually do need men in their normal day to day lives. Not just, you know, us paving roads and building buildings for them for the to just work in, which is a good thing. Please like subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. And I'll get you guys next time. Ciao.